What's going on guys, Kaz Cray back with another Baltimore State Dynasty video. I know it's been a while since I dropped the last video, or did the last stream that is. It's been like about a month I want to say, but I'm finally ready to get started with year 5 of the Baltimore State Dynasty. And we're going to start year 5 off taking on Alabama, but we'll get more into that in the next video. But this is going to be the season preview for season 5, year 5, whatever you want to call it. And, of course, the new starting quarterback is going to be Jesse Garner. He's 5'11", 209, and he's pretty undersized for a quarterback, as you can see. Doesn't have a ton of experience either, so we could be walking into a lot of trouble with Garner in his first season as a QB, but he is a 94 overall, so that's pretty damn good for a sophomore if, you're, if we're being completely honest with ourselves. And he's definitely more athletic than Franklin Jones, the quarterback he's replacing, of course, so... We'll be able to move around in the pocket and whatnot. That should definitely open up the offense. We can definitely run more read option. We can definitely run more play action and whatnot. And of course, Josh Seymour decided to return for his senior season after 2,233 yards last year and 21 touchdowns on the ground on 292 carries. So hopefully this is the year he ends up winning the Heisman. Of course, he fell to second place behind Navy's running back. I forget his name. But Seymour is definitely a threat in the receiving game as well. I mean, I don't really plan on doing as much passing as running this year, but we'll have to see. I mean, if we get taken out of our game plan, then I can only do what I can do. Of course, Carlos Stark's going to be the main receiver this year. Had a pretty damn good season last year. And he kind of slowed down towards the end of the year, but still a pretty good freshman season last year. And he's going to be our number one receiver. 99 catching as you see, 94 route running as well, 90 catching traffic. I mean, he kind of reminds me of like a Wes Welker, Julian Edelman type receiver, where he's not stupid fast, but he's so reliable when it comes to catching the football that it's like, you know, he's the go-to target on the team. Other than that, we got Josh Bryan and Ricky Lee Perry Paul as the two and three. Todd Renner returns as the starting tight end. And I believe we have four new starters on the offensive line. Bobby Williams, the senior, the only returning starter. And, of course, C.J. McRae is going to be starting at left end, the son of Coach Charles McRae. And he redshirted last year. He was initially supposed to be a running back, but Coach McRae decided to move his son to the defensive side of the ball. And, honestly, C.J. probably feels more comfortable there anyways, so works out for everybody for the most part. And uh, you have Cedric Moser Dalton starting on the other side. He was a linebacker initially, but we decided to move him to right end. He's a true junior, never was redshirted. So, I mean, I think he gives a lot of speed on the edge. He's a 97 over, or 97 speed, that is. Not 97 overall, he's 78 overall, which isn't great. But, honestly, I think Moser Dalton can definitely do big things in the 4-3 defense that Baltimore State is going to be running this year. And then we go to the defensive tackle, Evan Woods starting there. And three new starters at linebacker now. Derek Wade moves down to right outside linebacker. So that should be pretty interesting. Then you have Antonio Coleman and Jake Pride actually starting. Jake Pride, of course, is a sub-made player. Brad Brown moves the free safety from cornerback. And we'll see if he has more success there. I mean, he... It's not really, he doesn't really have the best hands if we're being completely honest, but he's perfect for zone coverage. He can cover man, he can cover zone pretty well. His play recognition's at 99, pursuit at 99. I mean, Brown's going to do work this year. Then, starting strong safety is still between Roman Sender and Alex Hayes. We'll see what happens there. We got a freshman kicker and punter this year. And Baltimore State begins the season ranked number nine. Of course, we moved to the ACC this past offseason, so. If we stayed in Conference USA, we probably wouldn't be ranked the way NCAA 14 <laughs> works, to be honest with you. But B-plus overall, A offense, B defense, and B special teams. So defense could struggle at times. And UNLV actually not even ranked this year. That's pretty interesting, but kind of to be expected. And we're actually expected to come out of the Atlantic Division and play for the ACC Championship this year as we're ranked over Florida State and Notre Dame. We're like the two juggernauts in the ACC. We go to the Coastal Division, and Pittsburgh is expected to win their division. Well, at least they're the top-ranked team in their division. I don't know if these are actually, like, actual predictions, but whatever. But they do have Pittsburgh winning the ACC this year, so they have a have them beating us in the ACC Championship game. Uh, that ain't happening if I have anything to say about it, but <laughs> we'll have to see what happens, really. 
And now let's take a look at the preseason All-Americans. You got Josh Seymour, first team All-NCAA running back, as you see here, right in front of Wes Bridges for Michigan State. And Antonio Coleman, first team cornerback, and Bobby Rodriguez, first team kick returner. Obviously, if you win the national championship, you're going to at least have like a few guys who are first team All-Americans as far as preseason goes, but... We'll have to see how they perform over the rest of the season. And we look at the second team All-Americans. Baltimore State has nobody. Pretty disappointing. But now we move on to the All-ACC preseason team. And, of course, Josh Seymour, if he's going to be first team All-NCAA, he's going to be first team All-ACC as well. And you got Coleman there as well. Same thing. Brad Brown, first team free safety for the ACC. And, of course, Bobby Rodriguez, the top kick returner in the ACC, at least as far as preseason goes. So, with all that being said, I definitely expect us to make a splash in the ACC this year. I mean, of course, winning a national championship last year, we will, or we at least should, but anyways, we got a second team All-ACC. We have David Francis, the cornerback, is a second team All-ACC player for the preseason, and he's the only one, we have, the only player second team All-ACC for us. Now we look at the Heisman watch, and Josh Seymour seems to be the early favorite to win the Heisman this year. Of course, he finished second last year, so as long as he gets more yards than he did last year, he should win the Heisman, but of course, we'll have to see. You know how NCAA 14 is. Really glitchy sometimes, but I have faith that he can win it this year. We'll just have to see what happens, but of course, we're going to be taking on Alabama. And I'm gonna, I ain't going to lie to you guys. I have a really petty reason for wanting to beat the hell out of Alabama in this first game. A girl that played me, who I ended up writing a song about, actually, she's an Alabama fan. So I guess to get back at her, <laughs> I'm just going to beat the hell out of Alabama in this game. But in all seriousness, uh, Alabama has kind of fallen off over the past few seasons, in this dynasty at least. But anyways, we take on Alabama in the very next video. It should be uploaded tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit the sub button if you're new. Plus, you me on Patreon if you want to support the channel. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day, night, and whenever you're watching this. And I'm out of here. Deuces.